Hey everyone, Kelly here. I know I've been away. I keep saying I'm gonna come back. It's just been so crazy trying to do all this stuff for these markets. I am constantly making coasters or vases or picture frames. So it's been a whirlwind trying to get everything together and build my inventory before I hit the road in my van in January. So I plan on coming out and seeing quite a few of my painting pals that are on YouTube and maybe painting with them if they'll allow me and have some fun on the road. And I'll paint on the road as well um, in my van. But I just want to uh, get a lot done before my before I close up my studio and by at the end of the year and I'm going to put my stuff in a store at that point. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna paint, I got requested to paint another toilet seat. So this is a round wood toilet seat that I have scuffed up a bit with a sander. So that give it a little tooth for the paint to stick to. Give it a good wipe down here. And I tape the back so that I can resin it later on. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna do a flip cup on, on this one. And the client requested orange and browns. I'll show you a picture. She actually was wearing some orange camo colored pants. And I asked her what color she wanted her a toilet seat to be. And she pointed to her pants. So I'm gonna do something similar to that, but it's gonna be a flip cup. All right, we're gonna use um, some orange and some gold, a little bit of yellow and some bronze and brown. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna put some music on and speed it up every once in a while. All right, see you at the end. like some fun colors. Let's do a, a flip on this. <clears throat> Let's put this one here. Okay. All right. Let's let it, we're gonna let it drip down a bit and then we're gonna see how this comes out. I never know with orange. I don't paint with orange very often. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we'll see. Wow, quite a few cells on there already and I didn't even do anything with this. I love those paint reactions. I like that a lot. I'm wondering if it's too subtle for them. <laughs> I think I'll take a picture and I'll send it to them. We'll see what they say. If not, you'll see a different image here in this video. All right, wait, wait till the end to see it resin. It's been a little over a week since I painted this one, this toilet seat. So now I'm going to resin the top of it. The client loved it, thought it was beautiful. So that's all I needed to hear. When I got done painting, 
So I left it alone as it was. And I really like it. It's subtle, but it's so pretty in person. So once this resin goes on the top, it's really gonna bring all these colors back out again. Um, so let's get started. I use um, KS Resin Liquidy Split. And this is about a little over, about eight ounces. It's about eight ounces. And it will cure, it'll dry in about five hours and cure in 12 to 24 hours. And if I need to put a second coat on that way, I can. All right, let's get started. So I mixed up, I mixed up eight ounces, but I only used about five because I was gonna. Um, I have a few more things I'm gonna resin, so so about five ounces. It needs to cover the entire toilet seat. Do six if you're gonna do this. I would probably mix up six just to be on the safe side. All right, there you go just like that easy peasy and then just blow torch the some of the bubbles i use the heat gun to move the resin around a little bit but then i'm going to pop my bubbles so i don't move the resin anymore okay bring you guys in for a close-up <laughs> 